Aerosmith's definitely here, right? Yeah, yeah. They're upstairs uh, uh, in the kitchen, sitting right at the table there. <laughs> <At> the... <laughs> they're... You mean they're up there at the breakfast nook? Aerosmith is in my breakfast nook? Excellent! All right! <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Dave C's G.I. Joe Commentary. Uh, this episode, we're going to be looking at uh, kind of a custom that I made. And uh, right now, you're looking at uh, Destro and the Baroness, a long time. Uh, Long-time villains and lovers in uh, the G.I. Joe uh, universe. And uh, you'll, you'll notice that he's wearing a, a different uniform than the uh, 1983 uh, traditional original issue that uh, a lot of 1980s fans love. And uh, I do too, of course, the original. That's definitely my, my favorite Destro. But uh, this is a different one that uh, came out in 1988 and uh, it's called uh, Iron Grenadiers uh, Destro. And uh, what he did was he, uh, he finally decided to break away from Cobra Commander around that time. And uh, I guess he was tired of uh, the commander's shenanigans and, and whatnot. And uh, he decided to start his own army and uh, kind of go back to his castle in Scotland and uh, do things for himself. And uh, he still had the Baroness by his side, of course, because they were lovers. And, um, yeah, you can see he, he uh, changed his look a little bit. He got a gold head, gold helmet. And um, over here you can see uh, the two guys on the left and right. They are uh, his soldiers called Iron Grenadiers. And they were the main troopers, kind of like uh, Commander has his... Cobra soldiers and officers. Those are Destro's go-to guys. Kind of like elite, elite uh, type type troopers. Like maybe like a British SAS or something like a kind of a elite Scottish group. Um, in the center is uh, Voltar, who is uh, Destro's general. And uh, tried to kind of make him looking at a map there with a couple guys. But yeah, uh, back to the custom. Uh, that I was talking about. Uh, around that time when the Iron Grenadiers came out, I thought they were totally awesome and a lot of other people did. And uh, But yeah, around that time, late 80s, like 88, 89, uh, Kenner uh, merged with Hasbro and uh, they had a little bit different uh, approach to things and uh, they started to change a little bit of things and, and I think that that's why maybe this this custom that I made here was never actually produced or released and uh, I look at it kind of like maybe some unfinished business like like if Hasbro uh, was paying attention to detail like they would have in the early 80s like 82, 83, 84 they, they would have uh, given uh, Destro's army a home and a base maybe so I took it upon myself to make one and uh, so here it is here uh, here's uh, kind of the kitchen and uh, a painting up there behind them, Scottish, uh, Scottish old family painting. Destro, of course, is from Scotland, and he's uh, from a long line of lords. He's actually Lord Destro James McCullen, and uh, in the comic book, the story is uh, told quite well. But I'm not going to get into that right now. This is more just about this custom that I made. And uh, there's some more guys that were in his army. There's Ferret, who was a vehicle driver. For Destro, and uh, that's Dark Lawn. That's Destro's cousin. And uh, yeah, I tried to make it kind of like it would be, like an old Scottish castle, and uh, with different rooms and stuff, different maps on the wall, and you know things like that. I can flip it around in a minute. We can look at the look at the other side. Look at the front. There's the front of the castle. And it was fun to make. Uh, I didn't have to change much to it. I bought the frame 
from Crafts Place and I had to make a few cuts and uh, use some wood glue to add some things and make things a little bit bigger and then of course the painting painting of it had to do all that myself and uh, but yeah that's kind of how I pictured a castle Destro would be you could have some gun embankments up on the top like I could put some different cannons up there I suppose that would be pretty cool Yeah, I always kind of pictured like, you know, Cobra Commander would would uh, want to get kind of even with Destro or, or something like that. And he might lead some kind of an attack against the castle and try to take all Destro's riches. And Because although they, they had a working relationship, uh, they were also arguing all the time too. If you guys remember from the comic and the, and the cartoon, he was uh, Cobra's weapon supplier. But it's not like they saw eye to eye all the time. And Destro absolutely hated Zartan because um, he didn't trust him, but Cobra Commander would always kind of rub that in, uh, in Destro's face. Uh, it's always entertaining. But yeah, uh, I was going to add a little bit too, like um, around the late 80s there, early 90s, when, when Kenner kind of had more influence and stuff like that, um, the designing team sort of changed that Hasbro headquarters there for, for uh, a real American hero. And uh, because they were competing with, uh, you know, uh, Star Wars toys that were coming out again and also uh, Teenage, Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which was a huge success with the movie and cartoon and, and all that. Um, they kind of changed it too. They started going a little bit brighter and they kind of got away from a lot of the military theme. And uh, I think uh, that's that's the reason why something like this w uh, wasn't produced. Um, like the figures that came out in the early '90s, they they had uh, all the accessories were on trees, and they were uh, all like bright colors. And uh, a lot of the file card information wasn't written by people that we uh, knew anymore, so it didn't really make sense and match up with the character. And a lot of the uh, Attention to detail was gone, so I think they lost a lot of uh, a lot of attention from the fans, from the fans' uh, perspective by doing that. So, and we all got older too. I mean, we were doing other things by then. But, but yeah. So that's a custom castle I made. A little bit of uh, unfinished business, and uh, hope you liked it. See if I can open the door without these guys falling off. I only got one uh, one hand here, of course to do this yeah here's the there's a door for it <laughs> nothing special but yeah okay so we'll see you next time guys have a great day bye